Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this home decor DIY, I'm going to be using four of these coffee tins. This is how the coffee would drink comes in. And I just saved four of these coffee tins. You can use paint tins as well, or you can buy tins online. I'm going to be gluing one on top of the other using some super glue. I'm going to add my uh, super glue in this part, just making sure that this part of my thin in all of them is in the same spot. For this, I wouldn't use hot glue gun because I feel like super glue just glues better for these kinds of projects. I'm going to be using some like tape. The one that I'm using is this black one. Choosing this one because of like the width this has. This is just one of those construction tapes kind of. I got this at the hardware store, that kind of thing. But I'm going to be taping one stripe in there, making sure it's really well taped in. I'm just going to be taking a second one. Now this second one, I just need it for the space itself. So I just don't need to make sure that it's like taped in, if that makes sense. Once I have covered the space of this like stripe, I'm going to be using another piece of tape and that one I need to stay there properly as much as I can. So I'm just going to be taking my time and just you know pressing a lever especially on the edges and especially in those parts where my thins meet and then once i have that one i'm going to be using the second one that i have there just for space reference using this one all around my base so i'm going to be doing the same thing just placing it just for the space and then adding the next so i guess by now you can kind of see what i'm going for so once i have uh, marked the stripes i'm going to be painting them with my black acrylic paint and my brush and i mean you can use this tape itself as the stripes but i wanted to hand paint the whole thing also feel free to use spray paint i just prefer to work with acrylic paint giving them a couple of coats until i can't see the thin anymore once i have that and they are set and dry i'm going to be removing my tapes and this is a pretty satisfying part i think because you can see kind of like how the like stripes turned out and if you have like places where your tape didn't cover and you got like spots in there you can just remove them with your nails like this but don't worry about it because we're gonna be painting them anyways again with white acrylic paint for this I used two brushes a smaller like a more detailed one like this and another like a big one but if you're like me you're gonna end up with messes all over the place like this don't worry we just have to go with like a detailed brush and the black acrylic paint and just erase it we could call it this is why I went with the black first because it's easier to cover darker tones than lighter ones. I decided to add some gloss and I'm using this spray gloss that I bought at Home Depot adding a couple of coats because I want this to have like some kind of shine. So this is what it looks like by itself. I'm just going to be adding the thick plants that I bought at Hobby Lobby. First I'm going to be adding block of foam and then my plants. But yeah guys this is what this one looks like. I really like it. I'm always attracted to black and white for home decor and I think the green adds something really cool to it and I always like how black and white stripes look like in like tall and slim objects. Hopefully you like it too and I gave you some ideas and inspirations on how you can decorate things like this. But yeah if you like this don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Check out more easy home decor that I have on my channel. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think of this one and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll take you later and take care. Bye.